Hello friends, I am Imran Sayyid. I am going to teach you on how you could give a voiceover to an existing video. Well, to do the same, we may need an app. Well, there are many apps in Play Stores for video editing. The one that I'll be using today is InShot, I-N-S-H-O-T. So you could go to your mobile Play Store, download the InShot app. In my cell phone, I do have the app preloaded. So I would browse the app right now. I'll click on the search. I'll type in I-N-S-H-O-T and the app pops up. I'll click on it and this is how it opens up. Uh, this is how the user interface of the app looks like. We want to give a voiceover to the existing video. So I'm clicking on video. Then I'll click on new. So now it shows my video gallery. Now out of the several videos existing in your video gallery, you got to select the video whose voiceover you need to change or you want to change. So I'll randomly pick any one of the video. I have selected the first one. It shows a tick mark over there. Then there's a tick mark at the right hand side bottom. So I'll click on it. So now the video that I had selected has opened up in the app in short. Because I want to give a voiceover to the existing video, what I first need to do is to remove the existing voice. In order to do that, I will have to right scroll the options at the bottom and try and figure out a symbol of a speaker which has a tab volume written below it. So I'll click on speaker and this is how it looks like. So I want to completely remove the voice so I'll mute the speaker by clicking on speaker. So now the existing voice is muted. The next part is to give a voiceover to the same. So to do that what I have to do is I have to click anywhere other than the options tab. So I'll click at the right hand side bottom and this is what opens up. So now I want to give a voiceover to this video. What do I do? I will scroll the options at the bottom to the right till I reach an option called music. I'll click on music. The moment I click on music I get three options tracks, effects and record. So the moment I click on record, uh, it will give me a down count and the recording will start. Well, I'll try and show you that. The moment the recording starts, you can start your narration, whatever you wish to, to give a voiceover to this existing video. So I'll click on it. So, by clicking on that, you must have noticed that my sound had disappeared. The reason was that the app had started giving a voiceover to the existing video. So now, the voiceover part is done. You could go on giving a voiceover for the entire video and once you are done, you could click on the stop tab. So we have already given a voiceover to a very small patch and it shows that with a pink line. So the portion of pink line indicates that that much portion is basically recorded by a new voice. So now I can click on the tick mark. Then again there is a tick mark to the right hand side top side. I will click on that. It is asking me to save this video. So I will click on save. Then again on save. It is asking me for the resolution. Like there are three resolutions, preferably I'll select a lower one so that it consumes lesser space. So I've clicked on it. An ad had popped up because it is a free version. So I click, uh, simply clicked on the cross mark which had appeared on the right hand side corner. So the ad disappeared and the conversion of video has started. It is converting because it was a different video before and now I have made a voiceover to the same. So whatever changes I have made, it is doing those changes by converting the video. Once it is done, it is saved in your gallery. So let's see, it's almost done. So the video 
is converted now i'll click on back the video is already saved in your gallery so i'll again click on back it is asking me either it should go to draft or discard i can click on discard because the video has already been saved now i can close my inshot app so i've closed my inshot app and i can go to gallery to find the video so here in the gallery the first one is the video i am going to click on it this is the video so you could find this video in the gallery i'll stop this now so friends that's how you could give a voice over to any existing video you you first have to mute the ex existing voice then give your voice if you have liked this video kindly share it and also subscribe my channel i am imran sayed your technical friend thank you keep watching